Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java string reader class with the help of examples so guys the string reader class of the java io package can be used to read data in characters from strings so basically so far we have seen the reader classes which were reading data from files now the string reader class is one of the classes which will read the data from string and in the form of characters so this is the way that we can initialize a string reader so we have the string reader class followed by the object name that is input over here and the new string reader that is the constructor and it takes one parameter that is the string that it is going to read the data from so over here the string is present in this data variable over here so what are the different methods of a string reader so as you can see we have read method over here which reads a single character from the string reader so basically when we have the entire string inside this data variable and let's say you want to read only few starting characters from the data string so you can use the read method inside the while loop or inside the for loop as well and count the number of characters that you want to read and read them appropriately and then after that we also have the read method and it takes character array which will read the characters from the reader and stores it in a specified array as well so let's say if you want to store the data from the data string to the array of characters you can use this read method we also have the ready method as well so guys this is the use of the string reader class basically in order to use the reader methods for a particular string data you can use the string reader object so guys let us move to the eclipse id in order to check the examples so let's say we have the string data over here so we have data first and let's say i provide the string as this is a test string over here and then we have the semicolon now guys let's say i want only the first 10 characters from this string so basically you can use the substring method as well from the data but in case you want to use the string reader class object you can use the string reader class over here so you have string reader as you can see this is the string reader class that is suggested by the eclipse id and i will say sr as the object name followed by new and then we have string reader over here so as you can see there is only one constructor over here which is taking the string as the parameter so we are going to provide this data as the string which is going to be the parameter over here and then followed by semicolon now guys let's say i only want to read the first 10 characters from this string and i want to separate them using commas over here so what i will do is i will go in a loop i will say for int i it is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 10 and then i'll say i plus plus so over here what i'm doing is i'm going from i is equal to 1 to i less than or equal to 10 meaning 10 times the control flow will go inside this loop over here now inside this loop what we will do is we will simply print the characters by using the sr object over here so one character at a time we are going to take so we have sr followed by dot and then we have something called as read now guys there are multiple types of read method over here which is called method overloading but it takes different parameters so as you can see we are going to take the first parameter which is going to return an integer data type so we have to convert it into a character data type in order to print the character one at a time so I'm going to use this read method over here followed by semicolon and then guys what we will have is we will have the int variable over here and let's say I give the name of the variable as x over here so what we are doing is we are reading the integer over here inside the integer variable that is x now we are getting a red underline over here it says unended exception so I'll select the first option that is to throw the exception now we will simply print this data over here that is the integer x but in the form of the characters so we will have the print statement over here but instead of print ln I will say print that's because I want all the characters on the same line separated by commas so over here I'll say x but this x needs to be printed in the form of characters so over here I will prefix the character data type so as you can see inside this open and close brackets we have the care data type and then followed by x now guys after this we will have the plus operator that is the string concatenation followed by double quotes and then we will have comma followed by space character so all the characters will be separated by a comma and a space character over here so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see this is a so all the space characters are also included but there are total 10 characters that are being printed over here guys what i'll do is i'll remove the space character after this comma so that it becomes more readable over here let me just run it once again so as you can see first 10 characters are being printed over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 
and then guys the last comma we have to handle appropriately that's because after printing the last character we are printing the comma as well so guys in this way you can easily use the string reader class in order to read or manipulate the data in a particular string guys apart from this there are many other methods over here so when you type sr that is the object name followed by dot you will have many other methods which can be used which are similar to the reader class methods as well so you can use these methods based on your requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java print writer class with the help of examples so stay tuned